First, I want to thank everybody for being out here at the National Peanut Festival on this beautiful uh, weather day, uh, Friday. Um, we have a wonderful project going on out here at the National Peanut Festival. We're very excited uh, to tell you all about it. This year, uh, the National Peanut Festival Board of Directors has decided that we were going to do some paving. Uh, we're going to put a lot of asphalt out here on the property. And we have 200 acres out here at the uh, National Peanut Festival, and our plan is to pave 37 of the 200 acres. It, uh, it is going to entail a, a lot of hot uh, work, a lot of hot days for the crews that are doing this. Wiregrass Construction is doing the uh, paving project. They are our contractor. Uh, Prestair Engineering is our engineer for this project. Uh, we are incorporating drainage piping that will uh, take the water that's normally in our parking lots that uh, flows on the surface. We're taking it all underground and then of course we're going to top it off with some, some of the black asphalt that everybody likes to park in. Uh, we, uh, again, 37 acres. When it's all said and done, the project should complete sometime around summer of next year. For this peanut festival, we anticipate having a total of eight acres to park on. We have completed, as of about two weeks ago, the first part of phase one in our south parking, which is 200 parking spaces, 50 of which are for handicap. And it is immediately uh, outside of the south entrance or south gate that most people know, uh, the old Coscree property area. We're, today, uh, behind us, we are working on the north lot. Again, most of this work is going to be here in this north parking lot. The north parking lot is the traditional first parking lot that was put out here at this fairgrounds, of which we've been out here going on 16 years. Uh, but most people know it when they turn at the big sign on the highway with the big peanut, and they come up that hill into our north parking area. For this peanut festival, we're going to put a total of six acres on the uh, for pavement paving in this north parking lot. This uh, six acres is going to add 300 uh, parking spaces and 50 handicapped in the north lot. So just to give you an idea of this project, the size that we're talking, most people know a Walmart Supercenter or have parked in a parking lot at a Walmart Supercenter and there's a lot of parking spaces at these Supercenters. When this project is done, this 37 acres is going to be the equivalent of right about six or almost seven Walmart Supercenter parking lots all on one piece of property. So that's a lot, a lot of parking places. In fact, uh, we're looking at right at 3,800 new parking places. We had to incorporate stormwater drainage that I mentioned earlier, and I just want to give everybody an idea of the, the size that we're talking about. I'm six foot tall. So you can get an idea, that's how much water is going to uh, be put through these pipes. This is the big pipe. This little one, the 24 inch, is going to be at the end of the line. So uh, it, it starts at a 24 inch and ends up in these big daddies that are going to flow down on our property to a holding pond. Uh, at this time, I would like to introduce uh, some of our board members. We have with us our first vice president, Philip Tidwell, Beverly Lampkin, our second vice president, Mr. Joe Snell, he's our secretary treasurer. We have uh, uh, Ferry Murphy. She was the uh, one of the presidents when we were moving from the Farm Center property out here to this new property uh, with the help of Alan Wells. Alan, come on up. Alan uh, helped find this property out here on 231 and helped negotiate uh, the, that, the ability to, to move out here onto this property and we're thankful for your leadership and hard work and, and uh, vision to, to make this all happen out here. Everybody comes to the Peanut Festival to have fun. We outgrew the space there at the Farm Center uh, some time ago, and uh, this 200 acres is big enough that we can grow and expand. And uh, again, the Peanut Board of Directors wanted to invest in something that is going to benefit everybody and to help us all still have that fun that we expect when we come out here to the National Peanut Festival. Uh, Albert Kirkland is with us, uh, one of our board members. Uh, Joel Barfield, he 
he is one of the, he's in the con construction business. He knows all about it. So he's uh, guiding us through this process and he's part of our long range plan uh, and, and uh, giving his stamp of approval and uh, telling us what to do uh, and how to do it. So we think we're thankful for his leadership in this process. Uh, Carrie Cavender, uh, one of the long-term employees here at the National Peanut Festival, and many have talked to her by, by, by way of phone. She works there in our office. She is our office manager. Uh, we have Sharon Doswell. Uh, Sharon uh, started with us full-time last year, doing a wonderful job. She helps us with all our bookkeeping. Again, another uh, friendly voice on the phone, oftentimes. In the back, uh, I've got uh, th three of the engineers with us. i got Gene Curley. He's the primary engineer on this project. Uh, with Price there. We've got Alan uh, with us and Jody. Thank y'all for being with us today. Um, this is an expensive project. We've, we've saved a little money over time and we're putting it back into this. It is a, about a three and a half million dollar project. We, we obviously are going to have to borrow and, and over the next 10-15 years we'll be paying off this project but we knew that we had to do something to help on these wet condition uh, times of the year. Um, traditionally, we only have one or maybe two uh, uh, small rain showers during the peanut festival. It's just what we expect. But nobody expected eight to 10 inches of rain like we had last year out here. And we had a lot of difficulty having to shut down for a complete day. The first in the history of the National Peanut Festival on that Sunday, we shut down. Uh, so we want to avoid that if we can. Of course, people don't like to ride the rides when it's raining. But you're going to have a dry parking lot to park on, so uh, we want everybody to come out and have a good time. This year's theme is find your fun, so uh, we want everybody to come out. It's going to all start on November the 4th, Friday, November the 4th, and it's going to last through the 13th. Find your fun at the National Peanut Festival. Uh, a lot of things going on out here today. In fact, all the Queen contestants for the, uh, the Miss National Peanut Festival are visiting a lot of the schools. Uh, this morning so they're doing some community service type work this morning getting out in the community but um, the pageants are coming up the demolition derbies one, one of the highlights of this of, of the festival for the past few years is going to be on that last sunday we've got the cub mobile derby coming up if anybody wants information on all the events go to nationalpeanutfestival.com we've got three wonderful concerts lined up they're all posted on the internet on the Facebook as well as on nationalpeanutfestival.com. I would like to mention that um, after after we're done here, you're, you're welcome to go down and take some close-up video or pictures, if you like, of the action right behind us, and also go visit the South Parking Lot. And at this time, I'd ask for any questions.